You got a fly on you. That's for you. Hey, you're eating meat. Grab your worm. I'm gonna be real with you guys. You know what's awesome? The fact that you actually like seeing frog-related content. Because quite frankly, most people don't. If you compare the stuff that I post related to lizards, it does significantly better, for the most part, than frogs. However, the last time we did a Feeding All My Frogs video, she did pretty solid. So, in today's video, friends, we are doing a Feeding All My Frogs video for Reptiliatus Feeding Fridays. Now, if you're new here, I make videos about specialty pets, such as reptiles, amphibians like the little guy in here, and different kinds of cool invertebrates. So if that's something you're interested in learning about, definitely consider subscribing down below and dinging that little notification bell afterwards so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Awesome. Thanks for your consideration. If you aren't aware, unlike most other species of dart frogs, they need to eat microphagus prey, which are tiny little animals like, uh, you know, mites, ants or fruit flies or tiny little pinhead crickets really really small ones these frogs are able to eat fairly large prey which is really cool so let's go ahead now and prepare their meal today's food is going to be dusted with your apache calcium plus and supervite 50 50 portions of each so we're going to take some here just a little dash like that a little bit of this one just a little poop. That was a little bit more. And then I just kind of go like this to mix them together. Voila, our supplements are down in the bottom. And now we're going to add our crickets, which I kind of left in the bag they came in, but added a bunch of uh, butternut squash and some cricket food. You can see, there you go. We're gonna get a few more crickets because that's not enough for the four frogs. Here we go. That should be good for a small meal. Swish them gently, and we're off to the tank to go drop them in. And as you can see, they know. They're waiting for me here. They're like, okay, the hand that feeds. No, don't be scared. Now they wander away. So we're gonna go ahead now and just gently tap some crickets in just like that. And you'll see how quickly they just run over and start doing that. <laughs> That's a leaf, what are you doing? Hilarious, oh my goodness. Nope, you got another one. Yeah, frogs can be quite gluttonous. You wouldn't really expect dart frogs to be, but these ones certainly are. Keep those Jiminy's dropping. There's another one. All right, gang, here you go. Nice seeing them every time. Okay, so this part is where we feed some nightcrawler earthworms to my Ceratophrys Suriname horn frogs. Pretty excited, I got some larger enclosures ready to rock for these guys. I'm just waiting on some materials to arrive to make backgrounds, some cork tiles, and then it's off to the races to rehouse them. So it should be pretty great. All right, so normally their food is dusted, but these worms get really gross when you dust them. So we're just gonna do a more simple feeding today uh, with no supplementation. Starting here with this avocado. See if she'll come and eat. Oop. Nice. A little bit of substrate like that is nothing to worry about. She took a massive poop in her water dish earlier. That's why she's looking a bit on the slimmer side. It was huge. Okay, here's a tiny friend. You'd be surprised this frog will be able to eat this worm. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna make it a bit easier for them and just spray them down. It's unbelievable that such a tiny little frog can eat a worm like that. Awesome, let's move on. Now look at that frog. Isn't that impressive? We're gonna go ahead and give this one a big worm too. Start thinking ahead, because the question of the day is all about this animal. 
You'll see soon. I feel like a worm, maybe, maybe not. You know, sometimes again, all you have to do is go like this and if any Pac-Man is not receptive right away, do a little bit of this. They're usually easy to get to eat. Oh, there we go. No? All right. This girl or guy definitely splashes all their water out. I'm gonna do a substrate change because it's getting a bit too muddy and saturated in here. <laughs> Not exactly a exciting strike like it has been in the past, but it's not always gonna be like that when you feed animals. And last but not least, we have one more Ceratophorus cornuta. There you go, buddy. Sneak attack. You got it. Good thing we're using the rubber-ended tongues. Awesome. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all to help me name my pet frog. I want you to come up with some creative names that'll suit this lovely animal's name. I, I just need to come up with a good name. And I'm not so picky, but we have avocado and it's kind of perfect. Think of something creative for this frog. The big, cute, pancake, pudgy little orange being. If you like the name someone else posted, Give it a thumbs up and we're gonna do that voting system. If it gets to some sort of showdown and we need to, I'll, I'll make a community post and then everyone can pick from there with the top three names or something like that. But hopefully it'll be obvious enough and we're gonna name that frog. So you guys get to make this decision. It's gonna be fun. Watch the video, think of a good name and we're gonna go with that. And then also try not to pick a name that one of my pets already has in the reptile room. Sort of did that with Autumn. We have an Autumn Turtle and an Autumn Jumping Spider. I don't even know how I let that one slide, but it happened, so <laughs> anyways. As always, I'll give your comments a heart, or names in this case, and then we can engage in a little bit of a conversation as we politely decide whose name is the best suggestion. Awesome, let's get back to the feedings. Okay, now we're gonna go and feed all of my poison dart frogs. They eat fruit flies. These are Drosophila hydei, the larger of the two species of fruit fly culture. Uh, this was just a backup culture that I ended up buying because I kind of ran low on the ones I was making. Once in a while, I don't pay attention to how often I need to make my cultures, and then I have to supplement with store-bought ones, which is kind of annoying because it's an unnecessary expense. But obviously, the frogs got to eat, so if I make the mistake, I got to buy them. So all we got to do here, I put some supplement in. We're going to do a little tappity tap tap drum solo sort of thing. Okay. And I have a few other cultures that are gonna use to feed um, the rest. But you get the general gist of it. I just keep doing that, keep adding supplement, and then we feed the frogs as we go. Let's get started. Well, look at this little guy. Here we have my Dendrobates tinctorius cobalt male. Let's offer him some fruit flies. Here you go, buddy. Got a fly on you. All right, happy boy. All right, so these are my Dendrobates Tinctorius Azurus, and we're gonna go ahead now and drop in quite a few fruit flies for them. Let's see if they're gonna come down and eat. I am 100% sure they will. Oh, here they come. Boom. Beautiful frogs. Absolutely gorgeous. Have you seen this blue of an animal before, honestly? They are truly, truly magnificent. Yeah, it's kind of a weird one. They're probably one of the most common dart frogs people can get. They'll always be one of the most beautiful, so it doesn't even matter. You just, you have to own this species if you're keeping dart frogs. They're truly just spectacular. Easy to keep. They're just so much fun. I don't know where the fourth one is right now. So I got a little worried. I was like, where is frog number four? Oh, you know, just chilling up here. That, that, no big deal. <laughs> What are you doing up there, buddy? Uh, yes. If you were wondering if they climb, they take advantage of the height. Okay, so next up are my Ufaga Pomelios. These are the strawberry poison frogs. These are the Nicaraguan, I guess, blue jeans locality, they call it. Um, 
these frogs are doing amazing. And what's even more exciting is I get to share with you today that they have a froglet. And I am so just blown away. Check out this footage, guys. The froglet is incredibly shy. I had zero idea that it even existed until I filmed the time lapse of both of my uh, frogs eating. And then I was like, what is this? Uh, that is not one of them. And this tiny little frog just comes in and joins the party. It was so funny. I couldn't believe it. You know, you think I'd be aware of tadpoles or something in the bromeliad axles some, at some point, you know, just in the pools there. We just jumped straight ahead. They hit a frog from me. They raised a tadpole into a froglet and it's in there. So I haven't seen in a while. Um, I'm told, you know, with pumilios, you don't have to worry too much. They get along fairly well, so I don't have to worry about pulling it too soon. All right, let's give them some flies. Already see my little female is waiting patiently for my cocoa hut. And the male is usually back here. Actually, he is literally back there right now. It would be so nice if the froglet showed up too, but that might be wishful thinking. So we'll see how this goes. Okay. Tapping in some flies. There we go. There she is. Happy little frog. And as always, I want to take a quick moment to sincerely thank my patrons over on the Patreon platform. Thank you so much, everybody, for your additional support there. For as little as $2 a month, you can unlock a whole skew of different perks, get an in-video shout-out. We are thanking, little drum roll here, Lindsay. Thank you so much, Lindsay, for becoming my newest channel patron. I appreciate you. Looking forward to having more conversations about the animals we keep over there on the platform. Don't forget, we have a whole little online community there where we talk, I do exclusive Q&A videos, sneak peeks, and more. If you're interested in becoming a Reptiliatus patron, the link's down below in the video description. Otherwise, thank you so much for your continued support and viewership here. Awesome. Okay guys, here are the Santa Isabels and the Dendrobates truncatus, the yellow striped dark frogs. I'm gonna go ahead now and give them some fruit flies just like this. Now these guys have been reproducing for me. They actually have been bringing tadpoles into their water dish here. And then I've been collecting them and raising them up in deli cups. Is one of the Dendrobates truncatus. I still have to decide what on earth I'm doing with these. Um, it's kind of an interesting thing. I, I may decide to rehome them because ultimately this isn't really my ideal way of keeping them. Like I don't get to enjoy them. I don't get to see them if they're just in a bin. Yeah, so either it's gonna be setting something up nice uh, where they're probably gonna reproduce like crazy, which I don't necessarily want, or it's gonna be finding them another home because this isn't, I mean, it works, right? It's functional, or it does the job. The frogs are fine. They've, they've been like this for quite a while, but it's, it's not the way I wanna be able to enjoy them. So we'll see, but as you can see, the frogs are doing just fine. They're active, they're eating. If you look down in this corner, you can actually see one of the males with a froglet. So that's one of the froglets. This is kind of a wetter area, close to the water dish. It's a bit slimy there, but uh, yeah, the froglets are doing pretty good. I throw springtails in here pretty regularly, and I think they're big enough now that they're also eating the flies. There's two froglets in that back corner there. I believe there's three of them in here right now. Anyways, let's see them up close. And yeah, so as I was saying, I'm raising the tadpoles, so you can see there's one of them, and there's another one there. There's three tadpoles in here right now. They eat fish food and different plants sometimes, but they grow pretty quick. So just hop and clean the water off here and there. Very easy to raise. And then eventually there's lots of moss and plants sticking out. So they'll develop their front limbs, climb out. And that's when I remove them and bring them into the bin with the adults. Okay, here are my Guyanese Dendrobates leucomelis. Let's go ahead here and offer them a bunch of fruit flies. Similar situation to the Santa Isabella's and the Dendrobates truncatus. They are in a bin and they've been like this for a while. Just haven't really decided, I guess, uh, if I wanna keep them. Um, I may move them into a pretty large terrarium. They are really cool. I have heard from people that they become a lot less shy if you set them up right. So I'm sure being in this planted bin isn't helping. It probably keeps them very shy. They don't see me much. And what they do is just from over top. So they get quite startled. I mean, they, they are a lovely looking frog when you actually get to see them. I don't know if you can see the one there. Pretty nice looking frog. Actually get a glimpse of 
one there. Not the greatest quality, I apologize, but very cool frog. Okay, well, let's move on. All right, guys, so the last dart frogs we're gonna feed in today's video are my Ufaga anchicayensis redhead small form. I know it's a mouthful. These were, I think, formally recognized as Ufaga histrionica redhead small form, but I think are now recently taxonomically classified as Ufaga anchicayensis. So. This is my male. I have not given you a very close look at these frogs yet. I've been wanting to keep it as more of a surprise. I wanted to give you guys a very quick update on what's going on with them and what I'm going to be setting up for them very soon. Very exciting stuff. But for now, we're just going to feed them first and then I'll talk more about it. So that's just the lid. The male lives here and my female is in her own bin for now. There, so let's go ahead. Drop some flies in, see if he's willing to give us a bit of a show, hopefully. And this is my female's enclosure. That is my female there. She's leaving us. Okay, so usually I just drop a bunch of fruit flies here and eventually the animal will show up. So I'll start with a few, just, just a bit, and I'll do a larger concentration as soon as she actually arrives. So otherwise, until then, they might all disperse. Well, I mean, we got to see her eat a bit. Normally she's more shy than that, so lucky us. So this is going to be the future home of those two tiny little frogs. It's a 36 by 18 by 36 tall Exoterra terrarium. I'm so stoked. It's gonna be enormous and it's gonna be a living room centerpiece. I've just been slowly accumulating the funds to put together all the parts. This was graciously provided by Exoterra. Thank you so, so much, Exoterra, for providing me with this, as well as some substratum substrate that's gonna be part of the components. And then, over here, we have two massive boxes of two-inch thick cork panels. So you know those cork tiles that I use for my backgrounds? Well, I have a ton of it here for future projects coming up. I had to restock and get all set up. So that's gonna be going in for the background. The terrarium itself is going to be replacing this one in my living room. Uh, we're gonna be putting it on the stand. Again, it's gonna be 36 inches tall. Lots of room for aeroids to grow. I have a bunch of bromeliads in this tank that I've just been manually spraying and watering and keeping in here that probably a bunch will go into the build, but yeah. It's gonna be so cool. I got a mist king system down in there ready to set up and attach to the whole thing. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to this build. I think it'll be fantastic. So stay tuned. One of the big projects coming up now that the tree monitor build is finished and that video is coming along. I've been collaborating and talking to some really cool people who are gonna be a special part of it. So you're even gonna get to see some wild shots of the habitat these animals come from. It's gonna be epic. All right, everybody, it's nighttime. See a little cute frog through the plastic there? We're gonna feed my granular glass frogs, the Cochranella granulosa. Hello, everybody. Look at all those springtails on their leaves, wow. Now, I'm not entirely sure where the whole squad is at, but there's two of the boys. In any case, we're gonna try now, see if these little cuties are gonna eat some so we'll drop a few on the leaf and see what they proceed to do. You gonna eat another one? These guys love their crickets. They also eat fruit flies, but they really like crickets. Smart little crickets know not to, not to stay on the top of the leaf. <laughs> I love these frogs. And it looks like there's another frog down there somewhere hunting, if I'm not mistaken. 
Okay, we got ourselves a nice tomato hornworm here. To gently dust it like so for the next animal that's gonna be eating. It was also the last one. Okay, everybody, as if you don't already know, this is my Cruziohyla craspidopus, fringed leaf frog. Oh, look at this majestic animal that is trying to literally, ah! trying to eat me. Are you ready for your meal? We are going to hand feed him a hornworm caterpillar. There's a little bit too much dusting on that. Here, buddy, come on, that's for you. Hey, you're eating me. Try this again, please. Oh my gosh, what a funny frog. That is just, <laughs> oh, you're the best. I love this frog. Don't fall, don't fall. Yeah, 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 hilarious. All right, guys, that concludes feeding all my frogs. Well, everybody, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching today's feeding all my frogs. Reptiliatus Feeding Friday's video. The frogs are always so entertaining to feed. It's cool that I keep diurnal and nocturnal species so you get to see that type of variety. And hopefully, the beloved hamburger patty lunchbox will be awake from her dormancy in the next few weeks. So I'm sure that the next time we do this feeding all my frogs video, she'll be there. And you know how she is when it comes to the big meals she consumes. Awesome. If you want to see more videos pertaining to the frogs I keep, check out the playlist up above. Otherwise, I can't wait to see you all next week for an upcoming video. Take care, everybody. Bye.